Hola mis amigos pescadores, espero se la estén pasando muy bien el día de hoy. Hoy estoy muy emocionado de presentarles mi nuevo kayak del 2023. Este es el Vibe Kayak Macana de 10 pies de largo, 33 pulgadas de ancho. Junto conmigo está también Matt Charette. él es el creador de este kayak. Él nos va a hablar parte por parte de cómo él diseñó este kayak y por qué hizo las cosas de, de la manera que la hizo. Lastimosamente va a ser en inglés, así que van a tener que agarrar un traductor, señores. Pero yo voy a tratar de hablarles exactamente también lo mismo que él va a hablar más tarde de este kayak. Les digo, es un kayak muy versátil. Estoy muy emocionado de usarlo este año, así que entrémosle al video, señores. Este bote pesa tan solo 55 libras desnudo 77 libras ya equipado así que un peso súper súper liviano vamos a empezar con el frente del kayak aquí enfrente tiene una mancilla muy buena donde tú la puedes amarrar cuando vayas a transportar este kayak así mismo tiene una bolsa bien buena acá es estándar ya para la compañía Vive donde tú puedes poner tu remo acá bien importante para mantener tu remo seguro algo nuevo en este kayak de este año que aquí enfrente Matt nos dio un hatch este hatch está bastante bueno, es de 10 pulgadas de ancho. Después, aquí adentro puedes meter tus cosas personales, carteras, llaves, cosas así. O tienes suficiente espacio para meter cositas ya un poquito más grandes. Eso es muy bueno. El Shea Water no tenía un latch de esta manera, así que lo extrañaba ya. Bueno, ahora vamos a pasar a la consola del kayak, que es donde tú vas a ir sentado. Tenemos un Hero 2, el asiento normal de, de, de Vive Kayak. Algo nuevo de este año es el retenedor de la consola muy bueno es un diseño totalmente nuevo trae una barra de stainless steel acá o de metal de acero muy bueno que te va a ayudar a retener la consola para que no se te salga de acá igual el detenedor de la consola de atrás viene con un diseño bastante diferente también donde te va a permitir lo mismo que tú no empujes la consola fuera de acá y algo bien bueno también de todo esto es que tú vas a poder usar todos los pads que se usan en el share water esos mismos puedes usar también en el Macana, te van a caber aquí sin ningún problema. El mismo sistema de pedales también es el mismo de Sharewater con el Macana, así que es un diseño muy bueno. Algo nuevo también para este sistema de pedales son los latches que van a detener tu sistema de pedales ahí adentro. Antes usábamos de plástico, de plástico duro, ahora estos son de metal de acero, así que estos no se van a romper, no se van a salir de ahí. Aparte de eso vas a poder colocar tu Fish Finder en el Track Mount que está ya sea a tu lado derecho o izquierdo. Igual también puedes todavía usar eso como para poner tu vaso como Cup Holder sin ningún problema. Bueno, ahora nos vamos a mover a la sección de atrás del kayak. Empezando por unos taco trays acá enfrente, puedes meter tus cajitas de vibe ahí o cualquier caja que uses. Igual dos retenedores de cañas atrás. Este no nos dieron cuatro como el share water, obviamente porque este kayak es un poquito más pequeño. Acá atrás tenemos un tamwell bastante grande donde tú puedes poner ya sea tu yaka tank una hielera o cualquier cosa acá atrás. Tiene suficientemente espacio para poner todos tu equipo de pesca sin problema en este momento tengo cinco cañas acá y una caja de yakata llena de señuelos tenemos lo estándar del share water que son dos agarraderas que son muy prácticas para cuando estás transportando el kayak asimismo el remo para que te muevas derecha a izquierda desde allá enfrente muy práctico también muy bueno todos los kayaks los deberían de tener y asimismo tenemos dos mounts 
para los power poles por si quieres tener power, power poles acá atrás de kayak igual ya viene preinstalado para que tú solo vengas y se los conectes Hey everybody, I'm Matt Charette, the product manager at Vibe Kayaks, and I'm here with my friend Juan Carlos, Senor Bass Fishing, and we're here to talk about our new boat, the Makana 100. It's a 10 foot boat, 33 inches wide. It's 55 pounds without the pedals, the pod, and the seat. With the pedals, the pod, and the seat, it comes in at 77 pounds, so you can easily carry this yourself. Um, so start to finish, right from bow to stern, it's kind of packed full of features, but we also left a lot so that you can rig it out the way you want it and you can have this boat exactly for your kind of adventure. So in the front, we've got our standard paddle park and this little tarp, we call it the flex top cover. You can put all kinds of gear under here. And then underneath here, we also have our eight inch hatch. This hatch will allow you to put your camping gear, your hammock, you can fit a two man tent in here. You can just put a rain jacket in there if you want to. So that's gonna give you all kinds of options that we didn't have on the Shearwater boat. This is gonna be more of a general adventure boat, whereas the Shearwater is more designed just for fishing. So this thing's gonna be great for fishing, it's gonna be great for recreation, camping, you name it. And you're gonna be able to do everything the way you wanna do it. So right here at the front of the kayak, we are we have a nice sharp keel like most of our boats so this is going to paddle very well and it pedals very well it's also rounded in the front which is going to allow you to maneuver this boat really well on the water you can turn this thing on a dime it basically turns circles on itself i had one doing circles and circles with the drone over when we were doing our photo shoot it was awesome so moving to the center of the boat this is where all the fun happens this is a pedal drive kayak first and foremost that's obviously going to be our most important piece so this is our X-Drive with our X-Drive pod. We've got a brand new retention ledge here made out of stainless steel. That's gonna give you the ability to quickly and easily take these pods out. And you can swap the pod for our standing pod, our Versa pod, or the X-Drive pod. So if you wanna put this thing in the river and paddle it without worrying about your drive getting hung up or damaged, you can throw a different pod in here and have a little bit more storage in your boat. We kept things pretty simple. There's some drain holes here on the side. We've got metal latches, which is an improvement over the Shearwater. The Shearwater only had the plastic latches. They were prone to breaking. People didn't like them. We heard your complaints, we fixed it. These metal latches are rock solid. It holds the pedal drive in real great. And we also have just one latch in the front. The whole thing comes up. It is very simple and very secure. You don't have to worry about your, your pod or your drive. Everything's gonna be great for you. We also have some soundproof uh, deck padding here that's come, that came standard on our Shearwater as well. And uh, so that's, that's basically the whole cockpit area of, of the boat. Moving to the seating area of the boat, we kept things really simple. We gave you two seating positions. There's no track, there's no sled that you have to worry about all the weight. We kept things real lightweight. So we've got a high position here, and then we've got a high recumbent. This is gonna put you in the best position to pedal this boat. And that's really what this boat's designed for. So we wanted to make sure we gave you guys that. These are new and improved shrimp clips. They hold the, they hold the seat real strong. We have two tackle tray slots, so you can put your 3600 size trays. These Vibe trays fit in there real good. Got a little bungee to secure them. And then right next to it here, this is your rudder deployment line. So that's how you steer the boat. Then you get your steering handle back here so that you can actually control the boat. So everything's right where you want it. You don't have to reach too far to get to anything here. To make the boat a little bit more ready for fishing for you, we included ourselves a, a transducer scupper here. So there's a nice protected place to put your fish finder transducer there. You can mount the fish finder on the top loading gear track. And then right here in this little scupper plug, there's a pass through so you can pass your wire directly to the fish finder itself. This still works as a cup holder even when you have a fish finder mounted here. And then you also have the second cup holder over here. And then we gave you a little bit more storage underneath the seat on this. The seat's the Hero 2.0 seat, which is new and improved. So you have all of this space under here. You can store a dry bag with your rain jacket. I keep tackle trays under there because I like to fish. But you can kind of use your imagination and do whatever you want there. So moving to the back of the boat, we have an oversized tank well so that you can fit your big black pack. Uh, I put a 13 by 16 in mine. It will fit a 16 by 16 black pack, but your rudder won't go all the way up. So if you're fine with your rudder being like this, you can fit the great big black pack and take even more tackle with you. You can fit a big cooler back here. Our big Vibe 20 quart cooler fits sideways, so you can reach into the cooler and get your drinks, no problem. 
We also include these clips. These allow you to just lock your gear into place and you really don't have to worry about running bungees all over the place. We also have two flush mount rod holders. These come pretty much standard on all of our boats, uh, but we included two. The Shearwater has four, but uh, it's a small boat. What do you expect? At the back of the boat, we have our rudder, which you already saw us deploy. We also have power pole mounts. So you can mount anything here. You can mount a trolling motor, you can mount a power pole. It gives you the option, the inserts are here so that you can just screw it right in. You don't have to worry about trying to put backing on it or anything like that. Your large accessories are gonna be right at home on this thing. Then we also, just like the Shearwater, have some molded in handles. And those give you a better grip if you're trying to carry this with one of your buddies. So when Juan has this fully rigged out with all of his tackle and all of his rods on it, it weighs a ton even though it's a light boat. So it takes both of us to move it around. So these handles help with that. Thanks for checking out the Makana 100. Thank you, Senor Bass, for helping us out here. Uh, I'm excited to, to show this off to you guys. And because we're so excited, we're giving Senor Bass a promo code. So if you guys buy this boat, you get this paddle for free. This is our carbon fiber paddle. So all you have to do is use the code that's down below. It's SB Makana. Thanks, y'all. Adios. Y aquí va a acabar el video presentándoles el Bike Makana del 2023. Una vez más, gracias a mi amigazo. Hey, nada, man. Matt Charret. Este es un tigre. Y lo bueno que ellos hicieron para nosotros los latinos es que nos dieron un descuento exclusivo para el canal. Úsenlo, aquí se los dejo en la pantalla, en la descripción del video también. Si compras un kayak Macana, te vamos a regalar un remo que vale más de 100 dólares. Asimismo, si quieres cualquier accesorio para kayak, también tenemos un código de descuento que te dará 15% de descuento. Lo encuentras ahí abajo en la descripción. Muchísimas gracias, señores. Muchísimas gracias a este viejo. Hasta la próxima. Oh.